Hi guys, Paul here from Pilgrim Motorsports and Muscle Car UK. We've got something slightly different for you this time. Absolutely stunning car, and when you pan out, you'll see what it's all about. But it's basically a replica of an XK120 Jaguar. Now these cars were designed and built in the 40s and went into the 50s, and arguably one of the most beautiful shapes of a car. I mean, the E-Type gets a lot of um, praise, but I think something like this deserves just as much. I mean, obviously it's very, very reminiscent of those beautiful, beautiful shapes that were in the 30s. You know, you had the French Delahaye's and cars like that, which were just absolutely stunning. And I just love the shape of these wings. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, this car is fiberglass, it's not steel, so it won't rust. It's also built on an XJS frame. So you've got a modern XJS engine in here, or relatively modern, a 3.6. You've got a manual five-speed gearbox. So you've got the best of both worlds here. You've got that classic, stunning look, which I think we all agree is beautiful, but you've got modern running gear. So you've got disc brakes at the front, you've got disc brakes at the rear. Now, the guy that we, we managed to get this car from, I bought a Speedster off him, which you know, you know one of ours, which, which, which he built about five years ago. Absolutely beautiful car, and his attention to detail was superb. And this was sitting in his garage as well. And I said, if you ever decide to move it on, please let me know. And he has got to that point now where he doesn't use it a great deal and has decided it's time to, to go. Now, this guy's a proper engineer. His attention to detail all around this car is absolutely superb. I mean, you can see the front of it is You've got these beautiful, huge driving lamps. And also you notice his number, PDU. He told me it took him ages to find the particular number because when they were registered in their day, they all went through a certain um, DVLA office and PDU was a number that the Jaguars quite often had. So he made sure that he got that number just to make it that little bit more authentic, which is absolutely fabulous. All the chrome is beautiful, the headlights are gorgeous. And of course you come to these wire wheels and wow, I mean, any Jaguar with wire wheels looks absolutely beautiful, whether it be E-Type or, you know, one of the Mark, Mark 3s, Mark 2s, Mark 5s. They just absolutely look gorgeous. Obviously, Jaguar in the hubcap, um, in the spinner rather. Just beautiful, and it's entwined across, so it's done properly. These are metal, they are correct. Tires are pretty much like brand new. Absolutely gorgeous. Just walk along the side of this car, and you'll see how beautiful it is. You know, he's even gone to the, to the detail of getting the leather on the top of the door, which runs all the way through and around as it would have done in its day. But just have a look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. The chrome and everything else around the back of the car. He's got one of the original chrome and, um, or rather alloy and black GB badges to go on it, giving it again that little bit extra. That's what we all like. But if you, if you can look at the interior as well here, it's been done in a beautiful leather and I can actually smell the leather as we're here. Beautiful leather, fabulous seats. They are absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous seats. Nice padding as well, so if you want to take it for a, a, a tour, and he did do a little bit of touring in it, but if you want to take it down to the Alps and have a run round, what a fabulous car to do it in, absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, five-speed gearbox, but look at this dashboard, the attention to detail on this dashboard. It, it, to me, it looks like a sort of walnut finish. I may, maybe there's people out there that tell me that's not correct, but it's been done beautifully, even leather trimmed all the way across here. You've got the lights, the switch of the lights. It's all done superbly, really is beautiful. Handbrake is as it should be, but even the detail on these doors. These doors you have, you've got a little handle here, which you push down, which unlocks the door. You've even got the leather for your map pocket. Just, just, I've never seen one done to this degree. Absolutely beautiful. This, these knobs of where the, uh, it's got a full weather kit, this. It's got roof and side windows as well, which obviously get locked onto here. But if you really study this car, there are a few out there, but I would say that this is possibly one of the best I've ever seen. It really is stunning. And he, he's really looked after it beautifully. But let's have a look under the bonnet and you can see how modern it is under there. Well, here we are underneath the bonnet. We've got the Jaguar straight six that's come out of the XJS. Again, as I said, a very modern car to drive. It feels modern as well, which is great. So if you are, are gonna take it away and there's a couple of you in the car, you can take turns in driving it and no one has to be afraid that they've got to look at the oil pressure and look at the water temperature every five minutes. It's a modern type engine. So, it's, so the starting, etc., is much better than maybe a, a, an early 50s one of these in original form. Talking original form, a car like this now, if it was, in, it was in this condition, a Jaguar, you're looking at 120, 140 and above, and it looks like they're still going strong. So this car represents fantastic value for someone who would like to get into the classic market, have a bit of fun with it and not have that huge worry. I've driven it, it drives absolutely lovely. It really is a great car to drive and you can just see his attention to detail all the way around is beautiful. You've got power brakes, as we said. 
just absolutely lovely. It really is a fabulous looking car and I think someone will be very proud to own this and have a bit of fun with it. And if you're thinking about doing something like this and getting a car that's a replica, it doesn't come much better than this to be truthful. It is a smashing car. Come down, take for a test drive, and see how you get on. Or you will fall in love with it though, so be prepared. Speak to you soon. Well, good day. Hello there. Something a little different today. Um, what a privilege this is. Out in a replica of an XK120 Jaguar. The uh, kit actually came from a company called Nostalgia. And I have to say, having driven the car for some distance now, built absolutely superbly. The car performs, having had many of these originals myself, this car performs infinitely better than the original cars ever, ever did. No criticism of Jaguar, of course, but engineering has changed so much in previous years. And of course, this car features the running gear from an XJS uh, 3.6. So it has uh, a much more modern uh, power unit. It has a five speed fully synchronous gearbox, which is a joy to use. Obviously the old Moss gearbox with crash first and reverse is no longer it in the car. Um, electric power steering, disc brakes all round, fully independent suspension obviously featuring the uh, IRS unit which first appeared in the Jaguar in 1960 in the E-Type and these features combined give this car a wonderful feel at the wheel. It's silky smooth as a Jaguar should be. The old sales uh, pitch was grace space and pace and this car has it in bucket loads it is such a pleasure to drive it's easy to maneuver it handles beautifully it brakes perfectly and the performance from the 3.6 uh, motor is certainly commensurate with the original xk series engine but i suspect a little more powerful there but the fit and finish of the car is outstanding. I mean, you would have to be a real expert in these to know that it isn't a genuine XK120. In dimensions, it's identical to the original car. Uh, it's a copy of a very early car with the uh, separate chrome side light housings, which distinguish the early cars from the slightly later 51 motor cars. The driving position, exactly the same although the floors are lowered slightly in the front section giving a little more leg room a little more comfort bucket seats full leather interior very very similar to the original car but again slightly enhanced which is no bad thing the the dashboard a replica of the original walnut um, veneer uh, modern gauges they are from a Jaguar I, I imagine looking at them uh, do everything that the original gauges would do. Beautiful wood rim steering wheel by Modalita. And as I say, electric power steering really do make this car a joy to drive. Um, I suppose the only feature on it that you could uh, distinguish from the original are the fact that this has 72 spoke uh, cross-laced uh, chrome wire wheels on it. Whereas the original car uh, with a 16 inch uh, open lacing on the wheels but that's hey, a very minor detail but truly a lovely thing and at a fraction of the money a real XK120 would command uh, in today's market so real pleasure to be out in this today just a lovely lovely car to drive with uh, great performance there when when needed but it's one of those vehicles that you just love every minute behind the wheel it's just so elegant comfortable and just simply a joy so uh, good luck to the next owner i hope you enjoyed as much as i have on these few uh, miles that i put on it uh, this morning so there we go thank you very much mm -hmm.